back in 1963, 1964, a number of bone combs that look exactly like blades tattooers have used up before the electric needle was invented was found at a site on Tonga Tapu uh, out in Tonga. Like usually finding tattoos implements are extremely rare. Tattooers are specialists, usually one person or two people. So there's not many to start with. So um, there's all the different things that make them very interesting and very rare. They're made of bone, these ones. We found that two of them were made on human bone. So it's not just that they're bone, but also that two are made on human bone. And then because we, we found them all together, we know that they were a kit. And that's also exceptionally rare. We found that they were 2,700 years old, which makes them the oldest in Oceania and probably the oldest comb, so the oldest blades in the world. We looked at them under the microscope to see if we could find any marks left behind from the types of tools and we found that they were being cut out of the parent bone, so if they're out of a human bone or a bird bone, they've cut them out first with the stone tool and then they've ground them down to make a bevel using another stone, like something abrasive. And then they've used either a very sharp flake, maybe out of something like obsidian or most probably a sharp shell to make the comb. You can see here all the ink is still on the blade. So you could got all the black ink still on the, this end part that would have been you know, driven down into the skin. They seem to be exactly the same design as up to very, very recently, like, you know, 100 years ago or even still used today. So if people get traditional Pacific tattoos, it's exactly the same tool. So it's as if when they, once they innovated them or created them almost 3,000 years ago, they're like, this works really well, and then they haven't changed anything. It stayed the same. <laughs>